What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, David, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so second episode back from uh, a nice long break from this game right here. And yes, we finally made it to the Battle Resort in our last episode. We managed to get two starter Pokemon and what? Uh, yes, this title ticket. And uh, yeah, a new, a, well, two new Mega Stones, a Latia Sight and a Sharpedo Knight. So. Everything's going well, and now we're going to be exploring this whole place right here. Now, before we do anything, guys, there's quite a few Pokemon that we kind of need to take a look at because, uh, well, we didn't get to do anything. And because we completed the whole game, as you can see, wallpapers are added to commemorate your first time clearing this game. So now, I'm going to be taking a look at some of these Pokemon right here. As you can see, um... I don't remember when I evolved most of these Pokemon right here, but as you can see, they are the teams that I used in previous walkthroughs, and I might have to update a quite a few there because, as you probably already know, I do have a Pokemon Heart Gold going on. Still need to get on that stuff. Um, changed quite a few Pokemon up too, and well, I need to look for those legendary Pokemon that I caught uh, not so long ago. Let's see, where in the HE Double Hockey Six are you? Let's see, there's some legendaries right there. I may have uh, put, uh, sw or put in some uh, legendary Pokemon from my box, some spare ones that I, I've gotten uh, over the years. Now, let's see, where are you? Where are you guys? Let's see. Oh yeah, and the, the starter Pokemon. Yeah, the starter Pokemon. I could nickname them too later on. Let's see. I might have missed them. Here's uh, one. Let's see. Well, I see one legendary Pokemon on my team, but where the heck are the other ones? Huh. Let's see. There's... Oh wait, hold on. There, okay, so here's one of them. So as you can see, this is Deoxys. Right now, the strongest Pokemon that we have. Uh, we had the battle, and it, of course, it's at level 80. Has Cosmic Power, Recover, Psycho Burst, and Hyper Beam. If you guys remember, we caught this guy with the Master Ball because last time we battled this guy, yeah, we kind of beat him and we had to restart the whole thing again. No thanks to uh, this guy right here. Rayquaza, as you can already know, is we nickname we nickname him Shenron. Uh, Shenron, obviously, for you know uh, particular reasons, right there. As you can see, it does have extreme speed, Dragon Pulse. What else? Dragon Dance, and let's see what else. What else? What else? Oh, Dragon Ascent. Yes, it, it's a pretty pretty strong Pokemon right there, which we won't be using on our team. Just you know, it's there for show. Now, where are the two other starter Pokemon that I got? Let's see. You know, it's literally been quite a few months since I've played this game, guys. So that's why I don't know where everything is right now. That's why I should write it down. Let's see. Where are you, starter Pokemon? Hmm. Let's see. There's starters. Da, 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 da. Where are the others? Oh, there they are. Okay. So here's one of these starters that we got. We got Snivy, the grass type Pokemon from Unova. Of course, level 5 has Overgrow, Tackle, and Leers. It's attacks. Now, where is Chikorita? Where the hell are you? Right here? I don't know. Chikorita, where the heck are you? Man, it, it, again, I probably should have written this down. It's been a while since I've actually played this game and all that crud. Uh, let's see, Chikorita. Ah, there you are. Okay, so here we have Chikorita. Level 5 Johto Pokemon. Eventually, we will be nicknaming both these Pokemon. I already know what the nickname for Chikorita is right here. It's Orchid. But the Snivy, it's a whole different story because we have yet to use a Snivy on our Unova walkthrough and all that stuff. And if you guys are trying to remember, or if you guys want to know if I'm actually going to play that um, Pokemon Black and White 2, it is a hard yes. I just don't know when. And it might not be Livecom. I don't even know. So, here we are in the Battle Resort. And, uh, well, let's see. It's a paradise for trainers, by trainers, and for trainers. Now, there's a lot of things that you can actually find right here. One of them being Looker, the other one being a whole bunch of items right here, and Pokemon. And, uh, well, I'm just looking at this, and, uh, well, these guys are retired and all that crud. Okay, makes his heart pound. So, we're gonna go, this is a whole circle right here, so we're just gonna be taking a look around this whole area right here, and then, uh, you know, talk to people. Society tends to expect the man's value is determined by his looks and, or income, right? My man is the the is that a man's value is determined by how strong he is in Pokemon battles. Huh. This place is filled with trainers who are good looking and strong. Perfect. So th does this mean that I'm good looking too? Because <clears throat> I'm looking like a, a big old piece of meat walking around here and the girls are just looking at me. Mm, that's right. Anywho, here we are in a, in, in a shop right here where you can actually exchange some BP battle points 
for some uh, pretty cool moves right here. As you can see, these are strategic moves such as Icy Wind, Electro, uh, Web, Gravity, and Stealth Rock. I think you can get some battle points by going into the Pokemon box as well. I could be wrong, and let's see. What do you sell? As you can see, Block, Skill Swap, Synthesis, Role Play, a whole bunch of good moves right here, and I think its strongest one is, well, Iron Defense. These are all defensive moves. And let's see what this what does this person sell right here? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Teach your Pokemon some moves. Let's see. This one is more of attack moves like uproar, iron tail, balance, drill run. Huh. Drill run, I love that move. And let's see, dragon pulls, of course, heat wave. And its strongest one right here is focus punch, which I kinda don't like using because it's like, you know, you always get hit in the next turn right here. And then, what does this person sell? Welcome, welcome. Let's teach some moves to your Pokemon. Let's see what we got. We got Bind, Snore, Water Pulse, Shockwave. Look at that. And Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, a whole bunch of punches. And Endeavor, Endeavor, or whatever you like to call it. But yes, a bunch of moves that you can actually get by, uh, you know, by battling uh, at the Battle Maison or something. I don't even know. It's been a while since I've actually done this. Now, I think you can actually find some items right here. Look at this. This is like... Slippy slidey and all that crud. And let's see, what do these people have to say? Battle Chatelines are not are here or wait wait wait. Chatelines? Chatelines? Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Here. Visiting from the Kalos region now. They used to live in Hoenn, so it's like visiting home is food for them. I hear the Battle Maison started in a shack that was around here. Really? And there are people who are itching to battle on the beach too. Which I kinda don't want to battle right now. So let's move on. As you can see, that might be an individual who wants to battle. I think I might. <laughs> what a what a stifling place! This is just a time for a cool victory in Pokemon Battle to refresh me. I'm a poison type expert. Why don't you have the thrilling battle with me? Yeah, you know what? It's time to shake off the cobwebs. He wants to battle me. I got some Pokemon right here that will finish him off right here. So here we go, coming up against Anton, and he is coming with his uh, Crobat, but here we go, Shenron, ready to make some wishes. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Mega Evolution, and uh, we're just going to destroy his whole team with Dragon Ascent right here. Look at this, the Fervent Wish, bam. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've actually Mega Evolved this guy right here. And yes, it is one of the most broken Pokemon out there just because, wow, it's powerful. It is super powerful. And here we go, Mega Rayquaza, Delta Stream, ready to kick some ass. And, well, he's coming with a Venice Shock right here, so that's right. And here comes the Drega Ascent, Dragon Ascent, I should say. Look at that. You're seen into the new world, and bam, eat it, Crobat. And uh, that lowers our defenses. Okay, so maybe we're not going to do the whole Dragon Ascent every single time because that will actually make Shenron a lot more vulnerable than it is. And, well, let's see. Gaia growing to level 68. And here he comes out with a wheezing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch it to Gaia the Fierce Knight right here because, you know, I, it's been a while since I've seen Gaia in another Pokemon game and all that stuff. So there goes the Dragon Ascent, and here, has, here comes Gaia. And look at that, Weezing looking all mean. It's looking like a big old poison type Pokemon. Okay, let's go. Psychic attack for the win. And look at that, Weezing. No more. Alrighty, alright. Okay, so look at that. Our Pokemon are kicking ass, taking names. And he's coming out with a Muck, so let's just continue it on right here with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Any of you guys, I'm going to talk a little, just uh, just about uh, what, 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 what I've been up to since the Pokemon Omega Ruby uh, kind of finished with the main games and stuff. Well, as you probably already know, I've pretty much defeated everybody in the Kalos region. Now we got to go into the, the extra game on that one. And uh, yeah, we went back to Kanto, caught a buttload of Pokemon, and became champions there in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and uh, I did not see that. Wow, I forgot that it's a dark type. So yeah, that's what happened right there, and well, since then, we we, we are at the, well, I wouldn't like to say the precipice. I like saying that word in crap, man. I'm, oh wow, getting our butts kicked right here. But yeah, we are actually at the point right now where we are completing the rest of our walkers that we, you know, we didn't get the extra games out of, like this one. So within the next few days, 
you guys will be seeing some more episodes of Pokemon Horaz, uh, Pokemon X, and some other Pokemon games that I have yet to complete. All right, we're going to go with Shenron right here because Drapion, seriously, you're really pissing me off right now. Uh, let's see. One of the biggest things that we're going to be completing right here is the capturing of, of uh, legendary Pokemon, which will take place in a few episodes. Uh, some of those legendary Pokemon have to come out on certain times. I believe it's the legendary trio um, from uh, No. No, I lied. I lied. It's the Sinnoh region ones. So that might be a little bit of a different kind of a take. I may have to like. Uh, I may have to actually have to. Like, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I have to like do postcom and all that stuff. I don't really know. Yeah, I, have to, I may have to do some postcom on some of the footage just because. Uh, some those certain times are times where I'm at work, and yeah, that that right there is gonna be a little awkward if I'm like recording a, a walkthrough at at work. So we shall see. And then uh, let's see. I did announce on my page too that you know on December 19th, that is close to a month away. Well, today right now, as I'm recording this, it's uh what, October 27th. So hell yeah, close to Halloween. Uh, it's more than a month away. On my 10th anniversary, I will be coming out with my Pokemon Sun and Moon walkthrough, and it's going to be like my X walkthrough, where I'm going to be coming out with at least 10 episodes. Who knows? It might be more. And, uh, well, here we are in another spot right here in the Battle Resort, and uh, there is an individual here that I kind of want to talk to a little, a little bit later on, but let's go right here, and uh, I, I, I see that shiny thing right there. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Huh, let's see. I'm the custodian here of the Battle Resort. All I do is take trash out in the morning. I don't have much to do. That stuff over there is just some junk that I picked up while I was cleaning. Go on and take everything you think you could use. Okay, well I could use every single thing. I believe these are vitamins and minerals. So let's go ahead and just take those. To either give a, to our Pokemon or just sell for more money because, you know, what? It's $4,900? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I bring up my money right there. And let's see, let's go right here. We got ourselves a zinc. It's always great. And what is this? A carbose. Look at that. Okay, so these are these are nothing but vitamins and minerals. And uh, we grabbed this one right here. We found ourselves a protein. It's great too. And well, let's see what mega stone is this. We found ourselves a Gengarite, which of course will mega evolve a Gengar. I think I have one on my team. No, not on my team, but I think I have one. Okay, so that is that right there. Let's go ahead and talk to this individual. The other day when I was swimming, I suddenly heard a splash. Something fell into the water. But there's nothing around me. No ship, no flying Pokemon, nothing. Just a vast spread of sea. I wonder what it was. Hmm. Me too. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Walking into these sandy areas. And I think this is a trainer right here. Let's see. Blue sea in the white beach. What a lovely place. I love my fairy type Pokemon to do the well of heart's content. Would you care to help me? Not right now. Because I start off with a dragon type Pokemon, and I, yeah, that's something that I don't want to mess with. Now, there are some interesting Pokemon you can actually find right here, and we're going to be going under this bridge right here. And uh, would you look at that? Hold on. What kind of Pokemon is this? Hold on just a sec. Uh, what if I do this? And we go right here. Huh, what kind of Pokemon is that? Huh. I kind of want to look at this Pokemon right here. It sounds different from the usual Pokemon right here. And... Oh, it's a Mantine! I'm going to capture it. Okay. So you're going to see it all here too, guys. I'm going to be capturing some more Pokemon right here. Now... One of the goals is to at least capture most of the Pokemon that is offered into this walkthrough, especially in Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. And well, let's see. I'm trying not to uh, I'm trying not to make this Pokemon faint or anything. I mean, Rayquaza will just destroy this guy. So let's go ahead and capture Mantine. Come on. You know what? I can always find Mantine anytime, anyplace, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just run away. I'll find you later. Most, uh, the most important part right here is the storytelling. So let's go ahead and see what Looker's uh, doing here. Ugh. Hmm. You. 
want to ask you something. Where... Where am I? Um... The Hoenn region? Hoenn? Uh, well, there's somebody there. She's worried. Hey! What happened to you? You're absolutely soaked to the skin. Even in a tropical place like Hoenn, if you are soaked like that, you'll catch a cold. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh boy, I guess I have no other choice. Come to my cottage. That's right, look. That's right, looker. Look at you. Gonna go pitch some wool right there. My boy. Anywho, uh, there is something right here that I need to do too. Look at that. We got ourselves quite a few uh, new updates. By the way, this is how I got the uh, Mirage spots and everything. Okay, so that's kind of how I got the Eon ticket, the street pass. Uh, it was kind of a surprise to me. Didn't do no cheats or anything like that. It was just a big surprise. Now, here is somebody that we needed to talk to. Now, if you guys may have remembered a few episodes back, I thought I had it done, but I talked to two individuals in bikes talking about specific bikes. And if you talk, and then I, find, I realized that you need, you need to talk to this guy right here in the Battle Resort to get two more bikes. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, I'm traveling around the Hoenn region by bike. Do you have a bike too? Wow, that's a Rydell bike. It looks very cool. Maybe I should try, man. Maybe I should buy one too. That is true. So now after talking to this guy, we can actually go back to Rydell and get a second bike, which we will be needing because uh, there's quite a few things that we need to complete here too that require two bikes and all that stuff. Now, as you can see, there is another Pokemon daycare right here. So that's another one where you can actually leave Pokemon and, you know, just uh, breed them and all that crud. So now let's go right ahead and, uh, where the hell am I? Okay, right here. Right here, okay. So now, let's go right ahead and go and see what's uh, what, what, what's, what's around here. Let's see, there, this is a bridge. And again, I'm sorry for the lagginess, guys, but you know, I'm, I'm back to using my, my uh, wireless capture card. Uh, nothing's wrong, it's just, you know, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know, that kind of stuff. Anywho, uh, let's see, uh, this is close to the boat right here. Yeah, I'm not trying to go back to the boat, my bad. There was another bridge, I confused this one with the other bridge. So. Well, let's go right ahead into the battle resort right here and see what the what, what this place has to offer and as you can see the individual who introduced us to the place he's like the shining sun the sparkly beach like say meh not my thing at all the only thing I care about is the excitement of scorching hot battles hmm that is a very very good individual and I do respect that Let's see, the Battle Maison replica, Kalos comes to life in the birthplace of the Battle Maison. Okay, so I'm not going to go there yet. There's quite a few things you can do here. I'm going to be exploring most of the houses. Let's see, talk to this lady. Oh my, you're a trainer, aren't you? And you came all this way out here. I live, in, uh, I live a life free from a worldly cares here, just by raising berries uh, as a diversion. Here, I'll... Uh, I think I'll give you one of these berries. I hear that strong trainers, some, uh, strong trainers sometimes use these. And we got ourselves a Hondu berry. Okay. If you come again tomorrow, I'll give you uh, whatever is ripe. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, talk to this guy. That gentleman is a famous trainer in the country that he hails from. It seems like he's quite taken to you, kid. Hmm, let's see. What the hell are you saying? Uh, okay. Hmm. This is like going back to my Japanese version of uh, Walker. Except we never got to this point. If you are from Japan, or uh, I'm sorry, this is I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that, but uh, whatever language that is, please explain to me down below. Please. And let's see. I'm going to win 100 times in a row in the Battle May Sun, but I'm not very good yet. So win 100 times in a row in my place, okay? Okay, alrighty. Yeah, Battle Maison is kind of like a replacement for the Battle uh, Frontier, which we'll eventually get here. It's just under construction and all that crud. And, well, this place is the best. In addition to the beach surrounding the island, there's even, there even a daycare. Okay. There's even a daycare. I need to, need to learn how to read correctly, guys. And, well, would you look at that. Eek! You! So you really came. Blast it. Hmm. <laughs> then I guess I've got to do it. No, it's too dangerous, baby. Baby, it's fine, darling. I'll take care. I'll take care of this, darling. You just take this chance to get away. What are you talking about, baby? I wouldn't possibly leave you here. Didn't we make a promise to each other? We're supposed to survive together. The heck is going on here? It almost sounds like you guys are going out. 
early. If we're going to get out, uh, get caught anyway, then let's get caught together. I don't leave you here alone, or I won't leave you here alone. Whatever punishment awaits us for betraying our teams, we'll face it together. No need to worry about that. The heck? Oh, what? Okay, I am so confused right now. You, but why? Team Magma and Team Aqua both. We've all changed. And all because of this champion next to me. Yeah, that's how it is. The hell? I'm, I, again, I am so confused. You! No one's going to come chasing after a couple of runaways like you anymore. Then why? How did you f even find us? It was your smell. I know how you think. And besides, our leader Maxi came here. Uh, came here too. I, I could guess that he came here. Uh, he had some reason that for that. He never misses a detail, after all. I'm sure he knew the two of you were here. And our Archie is just the same. He's testing himself against the fine trainers at the Battle Maison, taking a good hard look at who he is. I don't think he's even bothered at all to, about some runaway like you. Are you serious? So that's how it is, huh? Hmm. I, again, I'm confused. You know? To be honest, I came here to bring you back with me, but looks like maybe I shouldn't have bothered. Just take good care of her, you hear? You mean... The hell? What's going on? Hey, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Well, wonders never cease. To think that the little Miss Magma and I would have arrived at the same conclusion. But that's how it is, so... Yeah, you're free. Be as happy as you can be with, the, your fel with that fellow of yours. Huh. So they are in love. It's like Romeo and Juliet except in Pokemon. You, you, you busybody. You bet I will. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so... Let's see. I'm sorry. But I'm a bit overwhelmed by this. Could you come back a little later? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna step outside, and then a little bit later, it just came. And... After doing that, they will see you again and be like, We've been waiting for you, champion. You sure kept us waiting, champ. I, I was just outside. I mean, I really was. Uh, never mind. Anywho, we spent a long time thinking things through after what happened last time. And in the end, we both decided that we should go back to our own teams. Team Aqua and Team Magma. We've decided to each go back to our own teams, and we're thinking maybe we could help med uh, mediate things between them. Really? Even a couple of grunts like us have managed to find a way to understand one another. It seems like there has to be a way for everyone to, in to recognize one another and move forward. But we are only able to dream something like that because both teams have changed already. And I think that's all thanks to what you've done. And so that is why we hope to, uh, to ask a favor for you, champion. From you, I should say. That's right. It's something we could only ask you to do. Uh, okay, what is it? What's the favor? Um, okay, talk to her. Let's see. I want you to take my Sharpedo. Will you take the, a Pokemon from a Team Aqua Grunt like me? I choose to raise the Sharpedo because Archie was my idol, but now I think I'd rather leave it, leave its future in the hands of you, in your hands instead. Sure, why not? Let's take it. Uh, crap. Okay, so I got no space on my uh, my team, so I got to go back to the Pokemon Center and all that crud. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the reasons why you're gonna be getting some new Pokemon. But I think I've already evolved some of uh, those Pokemon to get those Pokemon. If you guys know what I'm talking about. And well, let's go back to the PC. Let's put back a few Pokemon. Let's organize some stuff. Now, since I didn't bother to heal up my Pokemon right here from the last battle, let's go ahead and put good old Gardevoir right here. And you know what? Let's put Har or Yokozuna back in here too. And there we go. Two open slots. It is good. It is awesome. Look at that. Okay, so let's go back and get ourselves a newer Pokemon because... Why not? We don't, like, it's not like we don't like free shit, right? No. Okay, so was it this house? No, it was the next house right here. The two lovebirds. I think I was wrong. Oh, there they are. Okay. I want you to take my camel rub. Will you accept it from me like a T or from a Team Magma grunt like me? Sure. Okay. So they both looked up to their prospective leaders and raised a Pokemon similar to theirs, and they want you to have their those Pokemon. I'm not going to nickname this Pokemon. Since I already do have uh, my Pokemon, I forgot what I nicknamed them. But here we have a Sharpedo, so we're going to take this one and look at that. We got ourselves a Sharpedo. 
Okay, and no, I will not nickname any of these Pokemon, but you know what? I may have a plan for those Pokemon right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these two new Pokemon that we got. Both Gamma Rub and Sharpedo, and they both have atoms. Uh, this one has Magma Armor, prevents the Pokemon from becoming frozen. And as you can probably already tell, it does have, it does have some uh, interesting moves. It does have a Pashu Berry and all that crud. And well... We have Sharpedo, and it does have, uh, what, Poison Fang, Crunch, Slash, and Scary Face. It does have the Rough Skin, uh, rough skin uh, ability, and of course, it does have the Walking Berry, too. So that's our pretty good stuff right there for our Pokemon. Now, let us move on. Now, let's go upstairs right here, and as you probably already noticed, there's some people here, and talk to this one. This area is always hot, so you can uh, have hot battles anytime you want. The person who created this battle resort has great taste. You don't say. And look at that. The Battle Resort. Let's see, what does this guy say? Have you seen this sign? The Battle Resort is still popular, but there is a plan to make it a, uh, a more special and robust battle facility called the Battle Frontier. Huh. Yeah, the Battle Frontier. Something that I, I don't want to do. I changed my mind on that completely. Ugh. Eh, maybe I'll do it. I don't even know. Eh, you know, you guys do want to see some different stuff on my channel. Uh, I really don't know. I really don't know, guys. So, look at Wishmer Moo. Looking at them makes me feel like dancing. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Talk to this lady. Will you come see me at Battle Resort's famous Wishmer show? Sure. Yay, I'm going to uh, get all fired up. So let's take a look at these Wishmer dance. Look at that. Okay, Wishmer, everyone, gather around. Look at these guys spinning around. Up and down, following in there. And look at this. Ta-da, the Whisper with its cute little hands. It has a big mushroom. All right, let's start. Wim wim. Okay, let's see. Look at that. These guys, they got some moves. They're cutting rugs and everything. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. See, I can't even dance like that. I'm doing a little Pokemon Michael Jackson right here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And... Man, they, 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 they're cutting rugs, even though there's no rugs on the on, on, on the grass right there, and... Wow. They could dance. Okay. Everyone look at your pants. Okay. Find the whisper that has uh, asked you to follow. I don't know. This guy? Big Mushroom, yes. You are? Eh, you suck. Okay, never mind. Okay, so... I guess you get the big mushroom from the Wishmer. I really wasn't paying attention to, you know, what Wishmer was. It's just, you know, what was holding a button or a big mushroom or whatever. The Battle Frontier project has started. The first Battle Frontier facility, the Battle Tower building model. Look at that. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, yeah, I remember the Battle Frontier, especially when I was driving XC711. It wasn't my best showing and all that stuff. Yes, I know. Whatever. So let's go into these houses right here, guys. And, well, let's see. If you talk to this guy, he's like, if you are a trainee, will you show me uh, how you're raising your Pokemon with loving care? Sure. Which Pokemon will you show me? Of course, I'm going to show you my starting Pokemon because that one is the one with the most love right there. Oh! This Sceptile was at level 5 when you met. Right now, it's at level 68. You've raised it quite well. I bet your love for this Pokemon. You clearly made an effort to travel with your Pokemon and, uh, and raise them. This is a token of my gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. And we get ourselves a footprint bear, uh, ribbon. That's another ribbon for us right there. And, uh, well, if you if you raise your Pokemon correctly, you'll get footprint ribbons from this guy all the time. And look at that. We get ourselves a level release for our base. And this is a decoration that you can use for your secret base. If it's set it up, it can activate your base. And you'll be able to negate any level limitations in battle. A serious battle in a secret base with no limits. Don't you get uh, don't you get excited uh, just imagining it? So what basic what that basically means is that guys that you know if you guys remember going through the secret bases and you're battling different trainers, they usually have a set level for a specific Pokemon. It doesn't really matter what Pokemon it is. It, it can be a shiny one, legendary one, it doesn't matter. With this set level or level of limitation and all that stuff, you can just take away that restriction and battle those Pokemon at their set level that they came into the secret base. So, let's just say some asshole had level 100 uh, Lugia, Ho-Oh, and uh, Mewtwo. Yeah, you guys are screwed. 
pretty much screwed. So, yep, you're SOL. And aim for the Pokemon World Championships. Aim for the world. I'll conquer the world dragon type Pokemon. Okay. And this guy, I've collected over, uh, I've collected now 197 BP, just three more, and I can change my Drudagon's ability. Really? Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go in here. And, well, if you can see it, Looker's here waiting with this lady right here. Poor man, it seems he has amnesia. Huh. Okay, Looker. Hmm. You again. I apologize for my actions earlier. The truth of the matter is, I have no idea in the world what am I doing here. Or, who, or even who I am. The first thing of which I can remember is awakening upon this beach. Baffled lacking awareness of the circumstance that brought me here. And at the moment you appeared. I feel as though I have some duty that I should be accomplishing. But of it, I can remember nothing. Please pardon me for going on about myself. In fact, I feel quite uneasy. Of course, I must thank you for finding me. And we get ourselves an odd knight, which is another mega evolutionary stone. That I can I found in a pocket of my overcoat. It was the only thing I had on me. I do not know if it will prove uh, worth anything, but I'm glad to give it to you. Okay, all right. Okay, so that is that right there. And, uh, well, I think we've completed everything we needed to see right here, guys. Now, uh, let's see. Now now that we've talked to the guy in the bike on the other side of this section right here, let's see. Uh, well, we forgot to go right here. Hold on. No. There's nothing of importance right here. So, now that we talked to the guy in the bike around this area, we can go back to Rydell, which we will be doing right here in Mauville. Or in Mauville City, or the Mauville Mall, because it looks like a god dang mall. And look at that. Latios. Or Latios, or I don't remember. As you can see, this is the first time we're going in this. And you can see some sparkly things right here. The, pa the Pathless Plain. That is one section that we will be going to that is actually a legendary spot. The Mirage Forest, look at that, a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of Pokemon that we're going to find right here, guys, so let's go back into the Mauville, or into Mauville City right here, and, uh, well, let's see what, what what we can do now that we talk to the three individuals in the park. Okay, alrighty, here we are, we're back, baby. It's been a while, Mauville City. It has been a while, and well, we already done that trick right there. So let's go in here and let's go into Rydell. And now that we talked to the third person, this guy right here is gonna be like, Oh, it's you! I've been waiting for you. Many people have come to my shop saying that they saw you riding a Rydell bike here and there, and they want to buy a bike too. Thanks to you, my business is thriving as a token of my appreciation. I'll give you another bike. And look at that, guys. We got ourselves. An acro bike. So now we we can you know we can use those two bikes instead of just switching them back and forth. May the win always be on your back on your adventure. Okay, so that will actually open up a lot of stuff right here in the in the final episodes of my Pokemon Omega Ruby. So let's see. I don't necessarily know what is next right here. Hmm. I could go to Sea Marvel. Hell. I could do just a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff, guys, but I'm um, quite unsure what I'm gonna do next. So stay tuned. In the next episode, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Stay positive out there. I'll see you guys next time.